Hi, and welcome to another episode of Coloring with Lisa. Okay, so now um, I am going to do this picture. This is a beautiful girl. Um, the drawing is really cool. This is from this is by um, the artist Hannah Carlson, who makes a bunch of different coloring books. Except for this one, um, the only way you could get it, it's exclusively only for people that go to Etsy. So you can get this and just print out just the one picture. But this is actually a set of two of two people. So um, if you want to print it out. Um, you can just go to Etsy, her Etsy channel, and I'll put the link on the bottom, and print it out. That's what I did here, and then um, and then you'll have it. Okay, so um, let's get started here. The reason it's cool is because I'm going to teach you guys some skin. You get some eyes, and you get lots of colors. We can do some hair. So it's kind of a good uh, lesson to learn a bunch of different stuff. Okay, so I want to get a little closer here so we can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to start here. I get. Turn my paper, as you know, so I hope you just kind of got, got, you know, that you get used to that. But that's the way I, I have to color what's right for me. I can't just sit, you know, and color in a weird area. All right. Okay. So the colors um, that you can, if you want to start and get and to get it ready, is we need light peach, we need some nectar, um, we need henna, and we need espresso, and you need a white pencil. Okay. That's all you need. You don't need a bunch of colors to do it. All right. So the very first thing, I want to make this, try to make it really easy for you so that you're not afraid to do skin, okay? So don't be worried because a lot of people don't know how to do skin and I'll show you how to do it. It's not hard at all. So let's take um, some light peach and what we want to do is just put, base the whole face in a light peach. But just do it in a, in a very, very light way because we can always take it off. I mean we can always add more but taking it off is harder, okay? So just put in a nice layer of light peach and see how I'm, I don't want any direction uh, marks so I kind of go in kind of big circles so we don't want any direction marks because then that won't look good so we just put this in here so we got nice light just very very lightly I don't even know if you could see it on the camera but that's what we want just nice and light okay here it looks like it's part of her face so it looks like it's an open cut thing that's what it looks like anyway okay and I'm just kind of going the other other way so I have a nice base and we'll do the same thing under here where the eye is okay and we'll do the same thing over here on this eye There we go, nice base, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the nectar. And with the nectar, we're gonna start doing some shading. Again, really, really light, okay? And we want to shade against the areas where there's things. Now see, really light to bring it out a little bit so that it, you wanna fade it out. If you wanna use the flicking method, you can. That's what I use, okay, and just I'm going to give it a base here. Now you want to go blend this up in into the face so that it's not just look like it's outlined. We don't want it to look like it's outlined, okay? So we're going to blend it in and we're going to blend it, blend it again so don't worry too much but still so you can have a little darker on the edges but blend it out into the face but very lightly. on this side here. Okay, and I'm back now to where we're going to blend it in. want to go up and underneath the mask. Get a little, a little darker 
trying to get a little bit darker here. Not darker, but just I'm just blending it in. Okay, a little bit, see? Okay. Now let's take our um, the light uh, peach again and let's blend that out into the area. See? Just take it and blend it in. Use that as a blender. We have a nice natural flow without any. Let's turn it this way. Use this as your blender. And just blend it out. Start from the bottom and just kind of blend your way into the to the middle of the face. So it's nice and blended. blend it the more it's going to look more natural okay now we have highlights here so um, in the middle of the face is usually where the light hits so I'm going to leave it I'm just kind of putting a little bit more peach in here now just to really get the color in here the highlight in the middle here so let's mess with that. Okay. okay now let's take um, some of our uh, henna and with the henna we're gonna put the henna in here. I'm checking my battery. I have a little bit of battery left. Okay so let's just a little bit I'll change it in a minute. So let's put the henna and we're going to very carefully and very lightly because we can always add more. Just put in a little bit more of a shadow. See, I'm doing my flicking method here because I can have it darker in there, but lighter towards the center. It will make it easy for us to blend. Okay, and then we'll do some nice light on the side here. them all out. But we don't want a line, so kind of cut kind of just want a nice circular stroke just to kind of mess it up a little bit. So it doesn't have line this so it doesn't look like it's just outlined. I gotta go change my battery. Okay. Back over here.
side here. So far it's pretty easy, right? Yeah, it looks good. So just, it's not a big thing. No, you don't need to be afraid of doing faces. It's really easy. I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for you to learn how to do this. But see, it's not hard. See, I'm just putting very light pressure here. Okay, so we got we got that, and then we probably want to maybe put a little bit over here on the insides of these nostrils. Okay, you can come a little further if you want. Okay, and probably put a little bit underneath here. Let's put a little bit there. Okay, now we're gonna take um, espresso. Actually, sorry, let's blend it. Let, well, let's blend it all together first. Take that like light peach again, and let's blend it all in, and blend it up into the face again. All the little fragments of pigment comes off the pencil and creates that dust, so I just wipe it off and blow it off as you go. Alright. And just keep blending it. So the, the line doesn't look like it's a line, just so it's more so it's all natural. here. Let's blend everything. The more natural it looks, obviously the better. So now, right here. Towards the middle. Make sure you get all that little circle, see? Just and bring it out. Bring it the, that line. We don't want that line to be there. You want a nice natural flow to the middle. Okay. Got a nice natural flow to it, doesn't it? Pretty, isn't that pretty? It wasn't even hard to do. Let's go like this. Okay. All right, then we're going to take um, our espresso. And our espresso, we just want to put a little bit in here. Just a little bit for some highlight. You know me. The reason I do that, I want to have the uh, light and dark effect, meet light, medium. Dark and darkest. That's how you get that extreme look that I do. Okay. I'm just kind of blend that in. All right. A lot of people use this combination of colors um, when they're doing faces. So you'll see this kind of tone a lot, actually. You can do a little bit over here. Very lightly. Just very lightly. To give it a nice, rich color. Fill the nostrils with it. I'm 
nostrils. Who ever thought of that name? go back in the hospital today. I can't even believe it. Um, been out about a week from ICU and then uh, I have another urinary tract infection. I don't know what's going on with my my bladder. I had I got sepsis somehow because I, I guess I had a, a UTI and I didn't know about it and I didn't take care of, it, care of it. I didn't have any symptoms or anything so I I just didn't know and then uh, I turned into sepsis and then uh, uh, and then now it's back again. So they took blood, and I gotta wait now for the results. They gave me more antibiotics. Gosh, how many antibiotics can it take? Jeez. So I gotta take some more. They gave me this time Keflex. I was on Cipro, which is like a really strong antibiotic. And they don't. And that didn't work because it's back. I just I all been taking it all the way. I ran out. I ran out uh, yesterday. It was the first day, you know, that they make you take it until it's gone. Yesterday it was gone, so, um, I don't know, it's just scary. Oh, I don't be wrong with my kidneys. But they said on my blood test, that's why they didn't have to keep me, because they said everything looked good on my blood test. Um, my kidney function were fine, so, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so see now we got it nice and refined. Now we're just going to do our final. We're going to use our white too. So let's take the peach. And what we're going to do now is we want to um, blend it all in again just so that everything is nice and natural. And just blend everything all in again. Okay, right now you want to get into that where, the, where you put the color and just make sure it's all blended. And I'm pushing pretty hard because I want to. I really want to move that pigment around. So you can't really move it around unless you push hard because it's it's very waxy. But just get it all in there. But it's easy. See, it's not hard at all. You just gotta work with it a little. And it's fun. Nice. And then, like I, didn't, I see a little directional line here I didn't like, so I'm just gonna keep blending right there. Okay. Looks good. Now we just take our white and we open. Usually here there's a little highlight, so I'm gonna I'm still gonna blend it, but instead with the peach I'm gonna blend with the white. Just so I can have a little bit of a highlight here. We already know there's one here, but I'm gonna still put some white in here. Blend this area with the white. And the highlight. Okay. And voila. All right. Want it nice and blended, that's the trick. Just keep blending. Okay. Just want to have it blended. Alright, so there's that. Okay, now what we gotta do is the neck, and of course, the neck is gonna be the same way. So let's start here with our light peach and lightly base everything in. Trying to make sure that there's no directional marks. That's the that's the thing. You don't want that. You want the circles and then go different ways. See how I'm doing this? So that you don't have the 
You don't want to just go like this or like that. You're going to, because then you'll have these lines in, in the way that you colored it, and it just doesn't look natural. Once you have it in there like that, then we have to start with our shading. So let's get our nectar. Okay, and with our nectar, let's do that same same exact thing. It's nice and light over here. Okay. And you want to come out about that far, so. Right here. Let's throw this in here. Let's keep blending. Use the little flicking method that I've been teaching you. Makes it a lot easier to blend. Okay, and now you can get rid of those directional lines and then just pull it in. All right. There, go. Uh, we don't really want to go underneath here. Well, yeah, I guess we do. Just maybe just very little bit. Okay. Just a little bit under there. All right, let's take our light peach and blend. See, I'm pushing hard because this, you know, the, the material from the pencil keeps coming out. The color, that just, just wipe it off or blow it off. Good that works. It's not even that hard, right? So 
This is just one color of skin too. If you want to do blacker skin, you want to do Mexican skin, you want to do, you know, any kind of uh, Asian, whatever, any kind of where they have it a little darker, you, you would do the same, same exact technique. You would just darken the colors of the pencils. Just have light, medium, dark, and darkest. That's what you got to have. Okay, let's take our henna. Okay, with our henna. Let's go with this here. Not going up here because I don't really want um, anything in here. And this is part of the skin in here too, which I forgot about in there. So I'm just going back in here and adding some that color. See that? It's underneath something, so. You're coloring along with me. Um, like I say, you can just go to her Etsy store. She has them available. She has a whole bunch of them. And it's just exclusively, they're not even in her coloring books. It's exclusive. And she signs them, too. So, it's pretty cool. I can see mine's not signed on the corner. Isn't that weird? Oh, I might have photoshopped it out. Yeah, probably. Alright, so now let's take our peach again. And we're going to blend everything out. all the colors so that they're all together nicely. And I want to go in this kind of a direction. It's a nice blend. Okay. So there you go. Pretty good. Now, now we got to do inside the eyes. So let's take our. Um, same peach we were using. Base it in. Okay. I'm going to do this side. Okay, so there you go there. See? Not even hard and it looks nice. It's just fairly simple. It's very simple and light. And since we're here, we might as well, um, let's see, we can probably just, well, we can do the lips. Let's take some henna. And with the henna, what we're going to do is very lightly 
Come up here. Here, Hannah. All right, let's see, that's, that's a light way. Very light. Leave the middle, leave a highlight in the middle. Okay, we want a highlight in the middle here too, so we'll take your henna. Leave the highlight in the middle. I'm just giving you a really simple way to do it. Oops. I have a whole tutorial on just how to do lips um, on my site, so on my, yeah, on my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to do the, keep this one kind of simple, it's for beginners. Okay, now what we want to do is start darkening it. So let's start putting it in there here. Okay. take our um, light flesh and we're going to blend it but not in the middle. We're just going to kind of go to the middle. Now if you've already been doing lips and you have a favorite way that you want to do yours, you know, like you have a certain colors that you like, you know, this is a little bit of nectar. I'm just going to Grab some of that, put a little bit of in here just to Okay, we can put some highlights on with the white highlighter too if we wanted. Okay, so now let's take um, this is the nectar again and we wanna come along here. shade. In this area here, you know, I see how I kind of filled it all in. You can you can do that here on the sides of the, of the eyes because they're kind of we're gonna keep it a little bit dramatic. So it's darker back in there. All right, and we're gonna take our henna. Same thing with our henna. for me. Just make sure you're nice and blended it all in. Blend it all in. Oops. Oops. Make sure you like I had a little blip here. That's okay, we can fix that. So now let's take our light peach, our light color again. 
and we're going to blend that in. And this pushes the pigment into the paper too so that it doesn't you know, have a bunch of white holes or anything like that. I start up here because I don't want to start in the dark because then my pencil would be dirty and I ruin my highlight. Okay. That's good. So yeah, it looks very nice. Blend it so it has so it's natural. It naturally looks like it's just fading right in. There shouldn't be any kind of a line. Okay, everything should be really well blended. Okay. Now we're gonna take our espresso. And we're just gonna put it in here. Turn it. Yeah. We want to give it some drama and some shade, so let's put a little bit of espresso in here. same to this one here. So on this one here, do the same thing. Just kind of come around here and just give it a little shade. Just in that corner. Okay, and then we can come back in with that nectar. Not the light peach this time, let's use the nectar. Blend it with, like I say, don't forget, but blend it with your nectar because if you do it with the peach, it's going to dull it out and then you're going to go over the nectar. So, this is the second color we use and closest underneath this layer. All right, there we go. Simple, easy. Simple, simple, easy. Okay, maybe you could take a little bit of white. Give a little highlight in here under the eyes if you'd like. Just to brighten that area up. Underneath the eyes. Give her some. No. Alrighty. Alright, but now take our white here. We can even blend this area in with the in the lips. We can blend in with the white. Okay. Alrighty. Hope you like that so far. Okay. Now let's we're gonna work on um, something else here.